Hey there, Jennifer here. I am super excited for you that you are planning on going for your own business and creating a life that you actually love and getting out of being forced how to work and what to do every day and being able to enjoy your family more, just enjoy life more and find that peace, get rid of that stress and reach that financial freedom that you're looking for and that you deserve. Because if you are a hardworking teacher and or a mom, just like I am and or have been anyway, was a teacher before, um, then you definitely deserve a lot more than what you are getting right now. And I'm just super excited that you are thinking about finally rewarding yourself with what you deserve with all everything that you put into helping other people and caring for others so anyway i don't want to waste a bunch of your time um but as i said that i've i've been in your spot before i was a scientist and then a science teacher many years ago um let's see 16 17 years ago now and then i had my first kid and i was like oh wait like i'm not even gonna have time to be able to enjoy her as a baby and i wasn't making that much money so while i did love helping kids and making a difference in their lives. It just wasn't going to be my dream life. And I wasn't going to be able to be the type of mom and enjoy everything the way that I wanted to. So I'm super excited for you. And I have a few different main areas that I can recommend um, for business ideas for you, depending on exactly what you enjoy. So over the 16, 17 years that I've been self-employed, I've done a lot of different businesses and I've been successful in many different areas. And in the end, I've kind of chosen, you know, what I really enjoy personally, but that doesn't mean that that has to be what you enjoy. So I wanted to run over a few different options. So if you are someone who loves details and enjoys numbers and charts and having everything all perfectly in a row. Um, one of the things that I've done before was to be a remote bookkeeper. So it was something I was able to do while I literally had like a baby. I was breastfeeding. <laughs> um, we could be, I could be sitting on a couch with her and getting my work done and helping business owners that just don't have time for that. And it's, it's not a super hard, scary business to get into. You might feel like, oh, maybe you need to have a bunch of certifications. And no, it's pretty easy to learn. You just have to be, it takes time. And you have to be willing to um, learn some of the ins and outs of some of the main programs out there, as well as just being able to enjoy details and numbers. All right. So for those of you that are like, heck no, when <laughs> you said that, like, that's not what I want to do. That's okay. If you maybe you enjoy being creative, right? There's a lot of people out there that I know like love to constantly be like innovating and creating new things. One of the best businesses that you can do as well from home and on your own time frame is by helping people make their websites. So before you say, what? I don't know enough about technology. It's nowadays there's so many pretty darn easy website builders out there that if you're willing to put in the time and to just make a beautiful website that makes sense, then that is something that definitely a lot of business owners would love help with. And it's also a great job for people that like to, to write because there's a lot of copywriting that goes into websites and business owners often like have no clue how to state what they want to say on there. So another great thing if you love um, writing. So if you like to be creative, you enjoy writing, um, doing website design is definitely one of the best options as well. All right, something else, if you enjoy um, shopping and giving things to other people, then one of the things you might enjoy is creating your own online shop. Whether it be through um, Etsy or Shopify, you can have in your own e-commerce shop where you can have, um, you can make things and sell them on there, or you can also buy things wholesale and resell them. So these are some things that I've done as well, as well as um, my, my kids have had some of their own e-commerce shops too. So it can be super fun if you enjoy just like buying and selling and shopping and giving things to people, that can be another great opportunity for you. Um, another thing is that if you enjoy working with kids still, but you just don't like having being told like how to teach and what to teach and 
when to do it. Another great thing can be to have your own preschool. Now, I don't mean to run a daycare because daycare is like super long hours and those women are super amazing. So nothing negative towards them. They are superheroes for sure. But if you run your own preschool, it can be super part-time and you can hire a bunch of assistants to help you as well. This has been one of the businesses that I've done for a long time and I really enjoy it. I, I really do love kids and I love helping them, but I just didn't want to be stuck in a building with somebody else telling me how and when to work and what to do. So that's another option for you as well. And one other thing is if you love helping other people and problem solving, there are lots of different ways you can have like an online course or do some coaching or something like that. And if you would like to share something that you've learned or you've overcome or you've grown through in your life, you can help other people skip to the end and you can help them because you'll be sharing your life experience, like what was hard and what you wish you knew before you went through it. So if that's something that interests you, you can have an online course or you can do some coaching, um, online coaching or in a group program as well. So, all right. So today is just kind of to get you thinking about all these different options. Maybe listen to this video a couple more times if it went fast and you're like, oh, I don't know. Um, but anyway, listen to this a few times and then start thinking about what when I am talking about it, what pulls on your heart? What gets you excited? What makes you feel happy? So that is what you're going to want to do is something that you are feeling pulled towards, right? Because that means that's only something that is in true alignment for you and what your talents and your experience and what you're meant to do in this life, what your purpose is. So hopefully that helped you. Um, feel free to shoot me back an email at hi at jennifermstewart.com if you are kind of trying to figure out you know what what it is that that you want to do and but hopefully this is going to get help you get started and thinking what you want to do and be on the lookout for the next email coming to you soon to help you figure out what to do next all right have an awesome day chat soon